with quadratic patterns, um, we've just investigated that and we found our rule. So 0 0.5 a squared minus 0 0.5 a is equal to the number of roots that you have between different numbers of airports. Um, the next thing that's going to ask us to do is actually plot this. So again, when we're plotting, we're just going to go back to the original table. The number of airports and the number of routes. And I want you to think about this. We talked about it in the linear video. Um, when I plot these points, am I going to be able to connect them with a line or not? So let's put them down. Number of airports. One. Well, having one airport, you're not going to fly anywhere, right? You just have one place to go and you're already there, so you're not going to fly there. So we'll start with two. Two airports have one path between them. Three airports have three paths between them. Four airports will have six. And five airports will have seven, eight, nine, ten. So five airports will have ten. And you can see I'm getting a nice curve here. So a lot of people are always tempted to connect the dots if um, they start to draw them on there. But again, this is a say case where we're going to say dots only. Because this again is what we call discrete. There is no half of a flight or half of a route between Christchurch and Wellington. right? It's a bad idea for an airplane to have only half a flight available to it because that means somehow it didn't get to where it was going. right? So when you want to make sure that we're dealing with whole flights here, whole routes, so you make it all the way from city one to city two, that there's nothing where you're not making it all the way there. And that's why we're not putting this line between. Again, if I had a line in between here, that could say that I could have 2.5 uh, routes. So that means that I've got an airplane that didn't actually make it to the city it was supposed to go to. So connecting with a line would be incorrect. We want to keep it as dots only. And this is, again, discrete because we can only have full roots. No half roots there. So graphing it, pretty straightforward.